Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see by the title of this video, I've decided to do a House of Sea Blue haul. I've got some really cute bits from them, including this dress, which the colour I actually adore. But I am going to be moving out soon. This is a bit of a random location. This is um, my mum's living room. And I thought I'd just have a bit more space. It's a bit more light to film in than my bedroom. But not much longer. And I'll have my own space to film in. I literally can't wait. Like, I cannot wait. I bought a flat back in February. And the process of buying a flat in England is honestly so long. I just feel like it's going so slowly. But we're literally nearly at the finish. I can nearly get my keys, which I'm so excited for. So, not much longer of having to film in random places. I'll be in my own flat, in my own space. We can do cook with me's. We can do more hauls. I'm going to do homeware hauls, moving out vlogs, all that exciting stuff. Anyway, that's not what you've come here for. I hate the little honey loops that hang out. Um, let's start off with the House of CB haul. And let's jump into it because I've got some really gorgeous bits to show you. You're going to be obsessed. So starting off with this dress, I'm just going to include um, clips of them long ways because it's hard to film this way on YouTube. And unless they stand literally a mile back so as i'm talking about it you can watch the video of it but this first one i think is probably one of my favorite pieces when i got this out and tried it on i was literally obsessed the color is so nice it's like a peachy coral color it's so summery and frills are literally sewing right now i think fancy club first bought them in and now everyone's on it with the frills it is such a nice fit and i love the high slip on it I think it's so elegant. It's perfect for holidays. You can wear it in the UK as well, I feel. Um, you can dress it up and put it with heels. You can put it with like a ballet pump, sandals, whatever you're into really. I feel like it's quite versatile the way you dress it up. It look quite nice with a oversized blazer or you could do a denim jacket and trainers. Like you could style it however you want. So yeah, this first piece is so gorgeous. I did get it in a size small. I wish I got it in an extra small because it is slightly on the bigger size on top. Um, I am between an extra small and small in the house of CB, depending how the um, thing, how it runs. But it's still a nice fit and I still will definitely be getting my wear out of this. So we've got the next dress on. How freaking cute is this detail on this dress? I think it's so gorgeous it feels so elegant I absolutely love the lace detailing i think the top of it like this bit of the dress is the moment of the dress it fits so nice and then it's got the um house of cb corset style this bit i feel like they do that on quite a few of their dresses which is nice and hugger hugger figure hugging figure hugging and then you've got the adjustable straps on it as well i think i went for an extra small in this but i'll leave the link and the size next to it and then it's just like a mini skater style dress. The fabric's are really light and airy, so it's perfect for like summer dress. If you want it to pop down to the beach, put some flip flops on, go out for a nice dinner on holiday. And then this is the back of it. It's just got a zip here and then the boning detail just goes around the back. But as I said before, my favorite bit is this. I just think that it's just gorgeous. Like the ruching, the lace, the fabric, the floral bits. It's just so nice. I think it's just such a cute little dress. You can see again on the video what it looks like and I'll leave the link down below. I decided to style this one up first for TikTok so I thought I'd actually just show you it whilst I've got it styled it up. Um, I put this little cream bag with it. I actually got this bag in a charity shop. I feel like these dresses are like vintagey stuff that you could you'd want to find on Depop but you can't. Do you get what I mean? Does that make sense? Um, that's like you find in a little vintage shop somewhere kind of vibe. That's why I put on some vintage style Gucci heels with it, but you can see that in the long video. Again, the fit of this is stunning. I went for a size small in this dress because I didn't want it to be too figure hugging, but I do feel like I could have got an extra small. It would have been obviously just a bit tighter like so. Um, but it depends. I like it when it's a little bit looser you can eat some food when you're at the wedding this is like wedding style kind of vibe i feel like um i absolutely love the detailing on it these flowers the pink and green i love pink and green i think it goes so well together um 
and the lace detailing on it and then the back of it has got these gorgeous buttons but we can't close up these gorge buttons and then it's also got a sip so you can get into it and then you can have the little button detailing i love buttons like this just since they just add a little bit to the dress they just add a bit of um expensive vibes to them um anyway yeah she's a stunner i absolutely love this okay so we're moving with the flow we're just going with the flow i have now styled this as well by styling, I mean just putting a bag on and some shoes. So I've gone with some pumps, which you'll see in the video. Some little pink pumps. Um, just think this is like Paris vibes. Just love a little day dress. It's like a pontil, is that what you call it? Pontil fabric. And, and then again, you've got the milkmaid. I might be wrong, but I think it's milkmaid. Um, bust. I'm trying to remember all my buying terms when I used to work at New Look. And then I've got this little pink jacquemus bag with it which is from um that's frogs it's honestly the same it's exactly the same so say a few pennies girls um but yeah this again is such a gorgeous fit love the detailing on it i love the fabric it's so comfy it's the perfect dress you can honestly wear it again you could probably put on some little white heels with this brunching platform sandals would be cute if you're going out with the girls going for some cocktails going for some lunch you know the drill, that kind of vibe. It's just a cute little, it's a date night dress as well. If you want to go on a date and you want to look cute, then this is the dress for you. It's so, so gorgeous. This next outfit is a bit risky. It's a bit different. It's not what I normally would go for. I saw it on the website and I thought that would look so cool. I said to Jazz, like, do you think I could put it off? But I currently haven't styled it in a way that I feel like I can yet. Um, it is such a nice colour. Again, it's that kind of pontil fabric, if that's what you call it. It's like a knit fabric. I actually really like knits in summer. I just think a little cardigan is perfect to go over and I think so you could actually put this over a top if you got it in a bigger size. Or you could even put it over a bikini. I don't know if knitwear and a bikini would work, but it's, again, gorgeous fit, gorgeous fabric. It's got these little ties on it and, like, I love this detailing here and the scallop edge on it it's just so pretty but it's three quarter length like i don't know if i can pull that off can i i did originally try it on with some pumps and i don't know if that worked i want to pull it off because i think it's cute um i don't know if it needs i said to jazz it doesn't need like italy or something i can't really go walking about this and you like around this I can't really go around walking in this in London, but I think I can. You know what, I can wear whatever I want. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to see you styling this if you do buy it. See how you guys style it. But I'm going to mark it out because I do want to wear it. Maybe it'll be on holiday, maybe it'll be in London, we will see. But she is cute and I love the red. The red is giving... I'm on and off on red. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't. I've been wearing a bit more of it recently. Um, people do say that red's apparently my colour. I don't know, what do you think? Just go to the brown eyes maybe? I don't know. But this is a 50-50 with me. I love it, I absolutely love it. And I'd wear it around the house and stuff like that. I just want to work out how to style it. So this next outfit is a little beachy number. I got the top in a small and I got the trousers in a medium. I do wish I got the top in a extra small. It is just slightly on the big side. I just feel like I've got no boobs. It looks like I've got no boobs in it. Um, but nevertheless, how cute. I'm sorry, but the scalloping on it, on all of these pieces, those of them have got the scalloping. The fabric is so pretty and the trousers. I think these trousers are the perfect, perfect beach trouser. When I saw them on the website, I thought, wow, I'm going to use them so much in summer. I might get them taken up a little bit, just because otherwise, I love, I absolutely love a long trouser, but I'll end up ruining the bottom where they drag on the floor. Um, and I don't want to ruin them because they're so nice. And I am 5'7 for F, so I don't know if the medium are longer, like if you've got a smaller size, if they'd be a bit shorter on the leg. 
Um, but they are such a beautiful trouser. I would just take them off if I was you. If you feel like you're going to get the use out of them like I am. I just think with a bikini, they're going to look so cute. There's just, I love pair of trousers like this. I've got like a teeny waistband on them. They're just so flattering and they're just perfect. Just chuck over the bikini, like the perfect summer trouser. These and if you could get a satin pair. I've got a satin pair like this from I saw it first in black and pink and I wear them every year because they're just so nice with any bikini. So yeah, absolutely obsessed with the trousers and also the top. This is so cute. You can wear the top jeans. I think jeans on a girl's brunch, it would be perfect. Chuck a little blazer over in the evening if it's cold. Super cute. I'll show you the other top in the same fabric that I got as well. So this is the next cutesy little top. Again, perfect for brunching. A pair of jeans, a pair of shorts, denim shorts. Little like, you could do Bermuda shorts with this. I haven't branched into Bermuda shorts yet. You know, like the longer short. But I would like to try it. I just don't know if I'd look a little bit silly in them, but... If you're wanting to try, if you're a Bermuda short girl, then this top would definitely go with. It's got um, a tie at the top, so and then buttons all the way down, so you can actually just tie the top and have it completely open. You could have it sharp. Again, I think I could have got a smaller size than this. I went for a small, but I feel like I could have done an extra small. Um, I'm usually a six to eight for ref, if I haven't said that yet, but it is quite a nice, like, loose fit. So I think, again, it would be perfect for eating pasta in. I think this is a very Italy vibes. Having a little pasta, having a little, I'd say, Aperol spritz, but I'm not an Aperol spritz kind of girl. Margarita. I'm a margarita girl. Yeah. Super, super cute. Okay, last but definitely not least, we've got this little lilac number. How cute is she? Got mesh, it's got mesh cups, little satin, um... Little satin slip dress and then the back detailing. It's got like a bow back. I love a super short mini. I think a super short mini. Is that a sub glue stuff? Super short mini. Um, they're just so flattering. A pair of flip flops is all you need with this dress. So cute. Again, a pair of heels if you want to wear it. Dressed up. It's got this little flower detailing around the bust. Such a pretty, pretty dress. All of these are just chef's kiss i think european summer is calling for all of these outfits but yeah that is everything i got this in a small as well just for ref and again i don't think i could have got an extra small so i am between a small and an extra small it's sometimes hard to tell with her to cb um but hopefully this haul helps you helps you guys with your sizing knowing whether to size up or size down so for this one size up that is everything that I'm going to show you today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little How to See Me try and haul. Like I said before, I will be back on YouTube a lot now that I'm moving out. I'll have my own space to film in and everything. It's going to be perfect. I can't wait. So let me know what you want to see from me. And I hope that you've enjoyed this little haul. Love you all and I'll see you in my next video.